Savage crap to all my fellow carpenters out there. In this Creative Thoughts series, I'm going to put to a test a couple of cases that I built in past projects to hold my video camera behind a welding glass. The idea is learn and be able to shoot close-up range welding videos. Before jumping to it, I really hope that you are going to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell for future videos notification. And now, without any further ado, let's to build some and let's to have fun with! Ok guys, I would like to shoot uh, close-up videos while I'm welding. Never did before, no experience about, so I have to learn everything. In a past video, web link above my head, I built a play hood case to hold my GoPro camera behind a handy glass from an old welding helmet. Here the case made in play hood with a removable lid. And uh, here the removable ND glass. No idea about uh, its number. Usually ND filters are classified beginning from the less dark shade, ND2, 3 and so on. Mine should be around ND16. My GoPro fits in like that and the case has a back lid too. Follow the video please, then you will understand why the camera must be completely closed in, in full dark. If you are interested in uh, crafting a case, I already provided a web link to one of my videos in which I explain in full details how I build it. Then I crafted another case, this one in acrylic black sheet, that holds my GoPro camera behind a much more sophisticated, more modern glass that cuts light by itself once exposed to welding torch brightness. My camera fits in like that and also this second acrylic case has a main uh, removable lid holds in place through magnets and a back lid as well. As already told later on, it will become obvious why camera must be kept in full dark. Both cases are crafted in the exact same way, except for the materials used. The first, one, the first case was made in play hood, the second one in acrylic. Let's put them uh, uh, through a test and see if they succeed, fail, pro and cons. Before to do that, allow me please to clarify that I don't want to teach you anything, cause I don't have a clue about what I'm doing. Again, I never shot a welding video before. I don't have any sort of experience about. I already did the research about this subject and frankly I couldn't find much. Out there in YouTube there are very well made videos, excellent close range sh shots where we can see clearly the bead, the welding paddle, etc. etc. All these videos are made by professionals, welding schools, factory, etc. etc. that probably invested in pros cameras about uh, obvious uh, solutions for us uh, normal people i didn't find any valuable tutorial that explains in detail how to shoot uh, close up welding videos so let's see my camera how it's going to perform i begin uh, with the case made in play hood that holds a nd16 filter first test has uh, no leads on my GoPro is set with a wide field of view. You can clearly see and it becomes obvious why camera should be kept in full dark. In this first test both leads are off. The light comes in, the glass behaves as a mirror. So from now on my GoPro will be kept in full dark. Both case covers will be on all the time. Indeed, I close my case with both leads, 
camera is in full dark now and uh, let's see how it's going to behave. Second test. My GoPro is uh, clearly positioned too far. Third test, so I'm trying again, moving this time the camera and framing a closer shot. I change my GoPro setting to a narrowed field of view. Welding is uh, producing sparks and uh, that is not uh, right with the TIG weld. It means that something is not correct. The sparks are produced by the kind of mild steel that I'm working with, galvanized steel. However, this is not the subject that we are debating right now. I'm considering done the test with the ND16 glass from an old styled welding helmet. Conclusion. My GoPro 3 Plus Black doesn't offer any specific setting that I can play with to copy with the welding brightness. The only one is low light, that is an on-off setting that in my camera is always on. May with another video camera with more settings is possible to play with them achieving better results. Well, I don't have another camera to test and even if I have one, I won't risk it. What I meant is, due to the nature of projects that I'm dealing with, I shoot videos in a dirty, very dusty environment. GoPro is the perfect camera for the situation. With uh, its uh, underwater case, GoPro can handle dirty and dust, so I will never risk another more expensive camera that after weeks of dust, that kind of dust that I'm dealing with, for sure is going to break. This test clearly teach me that I need a close-up lens. Beside that, the conclusion is that uh, was a failure. The shot is not clear enough. The ND16 glass from an old welding helmet doesn't work with my GoPro. Let's test now the second case made in acrylic, a modern and sophisticated auto darkening glass that through a sensor system cuts light by itself once exposed to welding torch brightness. With uh, this first test, I set my glass to the lowest shade, number 9. Usually, all these glasses have a shade setting between 9 to 13. The delay and uh, sensitivity, the other two settings that uh, all auto darkening glasses have, are not important. I set them as uh, I set my welding helmet. The only important camera setting is the field of view and I set my GoPro with a narrow field of view. I begin the first test, my case has no leads on, the glass is set to shade number 9 as already told. Exactly the same as the first case tested, if no leads on, light comes in, the glass behaves as a mirror. So, the case must always have all leads on. The camera must be kept in full dark. In uh, this uh, second test, the case has both leads on, camera is uh, in full dark, and I give one more try to shade number 9. Shade number 9 was a complete disaster, as you can just notice it. So, I don't lose time trying all the shades between and for the third and final test I jump straight away to the shade number 13, the darkest one. As you can clearly see, also the auto darkening glass with the shade number 13, its darkest one, was a complete failure. The picture is not clear at all. Therefore, I'm done with the testing. My conclusions are that uh, the case by itself for shooting welding videos is extremely unpractical. While welding, I'm dressing gloves, and that is a must. Too many times they made the difference between mild and severe burn. 
welding by itself is a process that takes time. We turn uh, on and off the welder often, we position the piece that we are welding, etc, etc. To all these routine actions I must add position the case to frame the video shot, turn the camera on, put leads on, then dress the gloves. The above mentioned action can't be done with gloves on. All these actions mean lose too much time in my opinion. The case solution is not suitable to shoot welding videos. Beside that, both glasses clearly didn't work. A camera sensor is not a human eye, much more sensitive and sophisticated. My GoPro, again, is a 7 year old camera, GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black, made today modern GoPro Hero 8 is going to behave in a much better way behind a welding glass. However, back to my GoPro 3 Plus, behind a handy glass or an auto darkening glass is struggling a lot. The picture is not sharp, really underexposed with a lot of noise. As uh, conclusions, my both cases with their welding glasses were a complete failure. The test, on the contrary, was a success to me, cause I learned a lot no matter what. Do you think that I'm done trying to find a proper hobbyist setup to shoot close-up welding video shots? Not a chance, my friend, and, I'm, and my learning process has just begun. So, my friend uh, video makers, uh, I already did my next move. I ordered and just received from eBay some toys. The first one is a set of ND8 to ND16 lenses specifically designed for my GoPro 3 Plus that fit through an adapter and the GoPro waterproof case like that. The second toy that uh, I just received is still a ND lens. This one is a 37mm graduated lens that uh, is specifically designed for the GoPro 3 Plus. It fits through an adapter as well. And uh, I'm still waiting for a third toy, a close-up GoPro lens. I'm going to put to a test all these toys, unfortunately this will be the subject of the next episode of this um, shooting welding videos creative thoughts series. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching and uh, see you soon in the next video.